met, it might just be friends of theirs in the neighborhood, too. I bet that's your dad down the middle. I, I, okay. see, I see that face. Is so, it? I would yes, any of those. But, you know, I, as I told Teresa, I said, hell, they call me and I'm going to need a new toga, I'd do it. My grandmother. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think I'd put it on the resume. That'd be a pretty tough role to tackle, though. Oh, yeah. I wonder what year this was. First of all, I don't think anybody should do it other than Sarah Mostel. I mean, I just retire the role, but... You know, I never saw him do it. Yeah, this looks like That's him. That's him. That's most of the people who do that. That's right. Authentic. I saw him in the paper today. I'd certainly, you know, would be different if it was like Shylock or something like that. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. Now, I've never saw that film. That's a good film. I saw things in paper today where they were talking about James Earl Jones, like Big Daddy. I saw that. And he said he played as a white man. Yes. But in one sense, it'd be perfect. Yeah. He'd be great for this part. Oh, how sweet. I just started reading it last night. This tobacco, you're just covered with tobacco. That's wild. You know, Alma, the best part of that entire. Empire Strikes Back thing was when they're in the snow in the very second scene or something, and all those huge things are coming towards yeah. them and they're firing. That was great. The battle. Fire. What do you do? You remember any of the any of the, of the? No. You don't remember when Anne was born. Age 61. That would have been 62, I think. And how old were you? Two or three. three or four. So you don't have any memory of her coming home from hospital? No. no. My earliest memory is of childhood is when I'm standing by the dining room table asking my mother, how old am I? And how old were you? Three. That's the earliest memory that I have as a child. I don't. I do have a memory, I think, of helping my mother bake my sister's birthday cake when she was one. And I was like, or I, I think I may have been two or three, yeah, standing in the kitchen with her baking the cake. Now, these, this is your uh, father and his, and his... I believe so. They don't look very familiar, though. It, it, it's an earlier picture. I don't know what... You don't know who's who, then? No, I don't. I love this right now. I, when we first moved here, I used to think how great it was going to be sitting in here by the fire. But oh, yeah. Here we are. I love it. Now, these are... Who? This is your... Grandpa? I think that's my grandmother and I think an uncle. Uh-huh. Her uncle. Yeah. Or maybe, one, maybe an uncle. I was there your father is recognizable. Yes. Apple cider hot from New England. Hot apple cider. Brought by Doug Tucker. The dog. And who's been with it? I've mm -hmm. wanted to corner my Aunt Celia for about a week and talk about our, our family our, in the Tigers. I'm, you know, my, my mother's a piece of great. Mm -hmm. Most of the information on the cookies. I've got to corner your mama again because, well, I've got in our move, I have misplaced the tape that she made for me talking about grandma's childhood. And I remember a lot of it, but I want to get the tape but, or, or well, have hard. another talk with them. I have a tape of because grandma. Because I, I want to do a book about grandma's childhood. I have, a, I have a tape of grandma visiting us in Easter 1972. Chicago, David? Well, I don't know. My mother's family came from Kansas. The Owenses. We are all movers, aren't we? we? Are. Yeah, that's this country. It's America. It's, uh, you know. Because, well, you go back, a, you know, you go back to a few generations and there was no Houston. You can't go back to any generations and there was no Houston. There was so no everybody Chicago. had to come from somewhere. That's right. That's you know, right. and it's, it's really amazing how few generations you have to go back. Yeah, I mean, because as I was saying... Go back 200 saying, years. How many generations is that? There's nothing that group, west of here. That group of my grandfather's grandfather, who was Dr. Johnson Hunter, was one of the pioneers of Houston. He was one yeah. of the first people. He was the first doctor in... in uh, the number of people tend to stay.
stay in, in the, the given area for the wrong reasons. When I was in Pittsburgh, my high school reunion, there was a guy that I hadn't seen in 10 years, and you know, he was. I asked him how how he's been doing for the last 10 years, and he said, "Well, I'm I'm a Pittsburgh man all the way. I don't I hate my job, and but I'd never leave Pittsburgh. I'm loyal. I'm." <laughs> I never want to leave Pittsburgh, I, you know. I'm very unhappy, but I'm I'm, right. I'm, I'm I'm very unhappy, but I'm a Pittsburgh person all the way. <laughs> oh, you know. terrible. I'm dying loyal. Pittsurgh people are unhappy. Is that what he was trying to say? Well, it's just that, I, you know, he was loyal to the city from where he came. He said he had been in jobs around the country, but he's he's much happier in Pittsburgh. I understand. Place in the world? Well, it might be the greatest place in the world. I love it because my, my roots are there, you know. Yeah. I feel the same way. Burgess Meredith has a nice line about Beaumont in this movie. He does? Yeah. What? Well, you'll have to see it. But... <laughs> Is it in the original script? I don't remember reading it in the no. screenplay. No, I think no, he added it. Added. The original script, you it was taking place in north central Texas. Correct. Oh, that's right. Everything that, we, everything that was Wichita Falls is now Beaumont. Hey, goody. Well, I'll pretend that I get credit for that so Pete knows me. <laughs> I, in, in the uh, uh, trip to Bountiful, there's a, a line that, don't you say it? Who so. says it? I think that Beaumont Express. The Beaumont Express will be 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I always felt it. Is that your voiceover? Yeah. Yeah. I got... In the bus station. I'm the... That's why David has the wealth he has today. That's right. I'm, am I the bus or the train? I think I'm the... Train. See, that's you're one and I'm the other. That's right, you're the train station. I'm doing the, I think I'm doing the train. So I'm the oh, bus. Okay, so the Chicago. Right. Well, yeah. Somebody says the Beaumont Express will be I think I, I like. think I said that line, ended up saying that line, didn't I? Yeah, yeah that was. Yeah, uh, I believe that was. So. I loved I Died when I heard it. It was great. A great moment for me. I felt like it was mine. <laughs> it was for me. <laughs> My date, and that's it. First. Then I thought that it would be nice to donate something to science. You know, maybe I'm, I'm somebody motivated. else would have my heart, somebody else would have my eyes. It's, that's fascinating. Actually, your heart just keeps beating in somebody else. Yeah. You know, it's, it, there's something about that that, that fascinates me. Yeah, I, I would like, if, if anybody ever is around when I'm in the car crash, I want to donate any of my stuff they want, but I never have, I never remember to get that thing witnessed. Can you witness it for me on the driver's license? You have to have a witness. Mm -hmm. Somebody yeah. else sign. Well, anyway, yeah, they can have the best stuff. Being cremated would also be good, you know. It's, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's just, like there's something about a body lying there that's going to rot and go bad. And, <laughs> you know, just, just thinking about it, that someday you'll be filled with worms. It's just. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's not fun to think of horrible. I think when I, I want to be stuck with. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a recipe for that. Yeah, yeah, well, keep it handy. Just in case. You know, I should carry it on me at all times. You, know? you have recipe. that dirty recipe, recipe for crabby stuffing. Big stuff out of the Carry plenty of mayonnaise around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Always in the car. Stuff is dirty. Depends on your driver's license. I prefer to be. That's something I wish. Sound by <laughs> Oh yeah. We do that to animals, mooses. I know, oh, I know. Moose. What do we do to mooses? Tax, what, taxidermy. Taxidermy. See, oh. have that done to you so your body will be preserved for years and years to come. Yeah, well that's what they did to Stalin. It makes I don't believe Stand I don't you want up in the corner. <laughs> you know? They're like a, they're like a, they're they're like like people out of here. Here's my dad. Dancing. <laughs>
Ben Rambo like? Is he a little wimpy person? Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> he's not a big, not no. that type at all. <laughs> I just did this TV commercial. I never met the guy. I would like it if Kevin's name was Kevin Rambo. <laughs> Like that. That'd, be, that'd be really funny then. Yeah. Then you'd be. No, then my name would be Teresa Rambo. Teresa Rambo. Rambo. I really Rambo. Rambo. Tess Rambo. Tess Rambo. Rambolina. Ones that really look authentic, and there have been documented cases of police officers who think that these kids have been armed, and some children have been killed. Yeah, I know. That's, that's really. Who think that these kids are holding real guns?